Hello everyone, I am Yash Patel and welcome to my channel Django World. So in today's video, we are going to get started with Django Crispy Forms. Now there are many type of uh, crispy forms which they provide. The first one is Django Crispy Form with Bootstrap 2 which is totally outdated. Then the second one is Django Crispy Forms Bootstrap 3 with Bootstrap 4 with Bootstrap 5 and they also provide Django Crispy Forms with Tailwind CSS. So we are not going to see Django Crispy Form with uh, Bootstrap uh, 2. Okay, we are going to get started with 3. So in today's video, we are going to see how you can implement Django Crispy Form with Bootstrap 3. So let's dive in. So here I am on my computer screen. Now I will just connect uh, my VS Code with WSL Ubuntu okay so i'll just press on connect and it should connect okay so it has been connected now i will just create one folder with command mkdir paste django underscore crispy underscore bootstrap underscore three okay and i will hit enter now i'll say cd and I'll go to the folder which we have created. Now I will create virtual environment. So I'll say virtual env space the environment name which is going to be env. Okay, so now I will just open my VS code into the folder. So I'll say code space dot. So if you want to open VS code in a current folder, you can simply go to the command prompt and write code dot. It will just open the VS code in the current folder. Okay. So I'll just hit enter. Now I'll close this old one and it is going to connect to my virtual environment. Sorry to my WSL automatically. Now you can see this folder. Okay. So I'll just open the terminal again and here I will just uh, write pip3 install django all right so i'll just install it okay i need to uninstall again because i have not activated my environment so i'll just say uninstall yes now i will just well, activate my environment first and then i will install the django okay so i'll write source env slash bin slash activate so if you are going to activate your virtual environment on windows then act then you need to write script instead of bin not bin okay keep that in mind so you will automatically get folder scripts uh, rather than this bin if you are working with windows all right so here I'll say pip3 install django okay so django has been installed now I'll say admin sorry django hyphen admin start project and here I will say crispy underscore bs not bs i'll say bootstrap 3 so 3 and space and i will give dot because i don't want to create one another folder and uh, confuse you everyone okay so i'll i have done this dot and it will skip one folder all right now i will say python manage dot py start app and I will say main okay I would like to add one thing over here so when we will learn crispy forms with bootstrap 4 I am going to use this same code although the project will be created uh, differently but I will just copy and paste that code okay so if you are following this video please go ahead and go ahead in my django deposit repository and uh, you can find this code and i will also leave a link 
in the description box okay now here i will create one file which is going to be dot git ignore and i'll go to the browser and i will say django git git ignore template and i will just copy and paste that template over here now i will say git init to initialize this as a git repository and it has been initialized okay so i need to configure the git global branch the branch name okay all that will be done no issues on that okay so once this is done now let's do one thing we will go to crispy underscore bootstrap underscore three in short project directory in in settings.py we will write main over here and write comma and here i will create urls.py but not now i'll first perform the migrate command so i'll say python manage.py migrate everything is done now i can go ahead and create url.py file now i'll just copy this code from here in the file which we just created now i will remove this admin because we don't need that one and i'll also remove this path because we are going to create our own path let it be empty for now okay so before installing crispy forms i would like to first configure the views okay so here i am going to create a view so i'll say mm, let's say def home underscore view and i'll say request and i'll say return render request main slash home dot html okay sorry i'll just copy this one paste it few more times this is going to be register view and uh, here i'll say register underscore user dot html okay and this is going to be login underscore view and here i'll say login underscore user okay now once this is done we will go to settings.py again and here i will write templates here basically we are setting up the base directory to search the template okay so here i'll say templates keep in mind if you are writing templates let me go to settings i need to turn one setting on which is zoom on scroll mouse wheel okay not scroll so i can now press ctrl and i can zoom you if you are writing template with s then you need to write the same name of the folder while you are creating so i'll just create it okay now here i will create base dot html okay now here i'm going to create one more folder which is going to be main same as our app name all right i'll save this one and i'll copy this home.html guys this is one time setup okay so please bear with me and just fit that this way new file paste that one copy the file name from here come to this one new file paste hit enter 
and the last one is login underscore user dot html okay now i'll go to base dot html i need to rename that one i misspelled it b a s c base yeah now if i press exclamation mark and hit enter i will get predefined template of html so here i am going to say blog and i will say title so these are the predefined widgets if you want this same thing then you can just go to the extensions and you can write django over here and you can install this one now after doing that you need to go to settings here you need to write include include language and click on add item and write django hyphen html over here in item and in value you need to write html if you will do this then you will get all emmet abbreviations enabled in your django templates okay so once this is done we will create one more block a block and I'll say content. All right. Once this is done, what I'm going to do is I'll go to the browser again, go to get bootstrap.com, go to docs and I will copy the CSS link from here. I'll zoom a bit for you. So I'm copying this one. And I'll go write one comment. And paste that one over here. Okay, so I need to turn on one another setting which is going to be wrap words which is off i need to turn on okay so by enabling this uh, setting you will not need to scroll horizontally okay this is the magic of that setting okay once this is done go back to the bootstrap css and copy this to scripts and paste that one over here and I'll just write comment bootstrap scripts okay now once this is done we are all set to test our templates okay so close all the files I'll just close it okay now go to templates in base.html we have all set i'll just copy this block come to main home now here i'll say extends base.html and i'll paste that block over here and i'll also paste that second time and i'll say title copy paste and let me go to the title over here yeah it's fine here i will say home and inside this content i will say h1 and i'll say home page copy this same thing from over here in login user paste that one and i'll say login page and here i'll say register page Okay, now come back to urls.py in the app folder, the main folder, okay, the main folder which we created using Django manage.py start app main. Okay, now here I need to import the views, so I'll say from dot import views. Now here I'll say path, leave it blank 
and I'll say views dot home view and here the name is going to be home I'll create one another path okay now I need to add it one keyboard shortcut and I'll say copy down copy line down I will change it to control D all right so if I press Ctrl D two times, then it will copy this single line below. Now here I will say register view. And here I need to write register. So I'll just copy this spelling register and add it, write it slash. And here in the names, I need to write register. Same way, login view. Login view is going to be above the register view. So I'll just copy this login spelling login underscore user slash and here i'll say login okay once this is done i'll go to the urls.py which is present in the project directory now here in the path i will also import one another package this is going to be include so i'll say include and i will remove all these things and here i'll leave an empty string and here i'll say include and in the parenthesis i'll pass main dot u urls okay so what we are doing over here is i am just navigating my urls.py which we created in the main folder which is over here all right so ready to test this project so i'll say python manage.py run server press control hit on this link and you are on the home page i'll say slash login underscore user hit enter you are on the login page and i'll say register sorry register okay so our links are working fine now it's time to install the crispy forms so here i'm going to write django crispy forms go to this documentation now hit on this install now if you click on this crispy bootstrap 3 ignore this one this is discontinued by the crispy forms only so click on this crispy bootstrap 3 copy this command break the server i mean stop the server paste that command and hit enter okay once you install that package come back over here now you need to install this both app so just copy that one go to settings.py file now here you need to add that okay We have two more settings to add so i'll just copy that too and here i will just write and comment crispy forms with bootstrap 3 settings okay done just save this close all the files okay now in the main folder we need to create one more file which is going to be forms.py so i'll say forms.py okay so we are going to apply crispy forms only on user form user creation form and login form if you want to add crispy forms for the further forms for example contact or you can say blog post form anything you can do it same way which i am showing you now okay so here you can import uh, forms so i'll say from django import uh, forms okay then you can import user creation forms so i'll say from 
then go dot contrib contrib dot auth dot forms import user creation form and we need to import user model so i'll just copy this one paste that one over here i'll say models and here i will import user that's it now let's create form for user creation so i'll say class register user or you can say user registration form and i will import this one in the parenthesis all right and here i'll create one more class which is going to be meta so i'll say class meta and here i'll pass model equals to user and fills is going to be equal to the list which we are going to pass first is going to be username second is going to be email third is going to be password one and fourth is going to be password two okay now here i need to add it one field it is going to be email email equals to i'll say forms dot uh, email field and i'll say required equals to true see if you are aware about django by default username is required field but if you want to make email field required then you need to write this one okay in order to make this email field required i am writing this line okay okay once this is done we will create form for the login so i'll say class user login form and here i pass forms dot form okay now here i'll say user name equals to forms dot character field i mean care field and here the label is going to be username oops username same way for password equals to forms dot character field and here i am going to pass widget in order to convert this character field into the password okay so i'll say widget equals to forms dot password input and here the label is going to be password password all right so this is it for the user creation form and user login form now let's go to views.py and first let write view for user registration so first i am going to import from dot forms import sorry import user registration form and user login form now we are going to need user registration form so here first i am going to check for the post request okay so i'll say if request dot method is double equals to post then form is equals to user registration form and inside that i'll pass request dot post okay after that i'll say i'll just 
validate the data so i'll say if form dot is valid then simply say user equals to form dot save and it will basically automatically log in in the website but see write this line if you want that the user should automatically logged in once he or she creates their account okay this is optional line which i'm showing you right now so i'll say login i need to import that login so here i'll say from django dot contrib dot auth import authenticate and also import login and log out we will need log out okay we are also going to create view for log out all right so once that is done you just need to write request and the user it will automatically log in the login into the website okay so i guess this is it for this view and here i also need to write else condition and i'll say form equals to this user registration form without any request okay once this is done come to the website here refresh okay i need to start my server python manage.py run server okay it is not going to work if you refresh because you need to go to the html page of the registration and here you need to write form with post request remove this action we don't need that and here i can write csrf token first then i can write form variable and here i will say button submit and here i will say submit now go to views.py back just pass this form in the form of dictionary so i'll say form as a key and as a value i'll pass form variable okay come over here refresh now you can see we got the form but we supposed to get the bootstrap form we are basically added bootstrap 3 right so we are not getting that so how we can do that just go to register user now here under the extends base.html you need to write curly braces percentage percentage and here you need to write load let me see if i have load shortcut for load and i will say crispy no i don't have shortcut for that so i'll say crispy underscore forms underscore tags and here write this and say crispy save it oops did i make mistake save refresh now you can see we got the bootstrap 3 form okay now the design is messed up totally messed up right so what we can do is i will just write dev dot um, container hit enter take this form paste it over here save refresh now it is looking much better now i will add class in the button so i'll say btn 
btn hyphen primary refresh and i will also add margin top to the button so i'll say m t equals to 3 okay okay so once this is done we can create account but before that let's create one super user okay so i'll say python manage.py create super user i have already initiated that command before let me search for that okay i am not able to see that one let's say create super user i'll say admin i will leave this email address blank admin admin yes i'll say python manage.py run server now here i'll create one account which is going to be test user1 email is going to be test user at the rate gmail.com password is going to be admin at the rate plus one two sorry two one admin at the rate plus two one and hit submit i guess enter the same password as above okay i have i guess the account is not created let me go to the admin panel okay the account has been created i guess yeah account was created now you can see we got this test user okay so we are not knowing that we have created account successfully let us do one thing we need to add one more line which is going to be redirect so we are we need to import redirect okay just copy this function name come over here and add home okay now once the user is logged in su successfully and created his account successfully he will be redirected to home page once he or she clicks on this submit button so let's write test user 2 test user 2 at the rate gmail.com and i'll write same password so i'll say admin at the rate plus 21 admin at the rate plus 21 hit on submit button okay so we are already logged in that's why we were not able to log in automatically but the account has been created if i show you then you will see okay the account was also not created all right i'll just log out from here and i will write again so i'll say test user2 test user2 dot at the rate gmail.com i'll say admin at the rate plus 21 admin at the rate plus 21 hit on submit what's wrong with this okay i need to write return over here return redirect home all right now it will work test user test user 2 admin at the request to 1 admin at the request to 1 we run submit button now we are redirected to home page that means the account has been created so if i log in again with admin credentials go to users and you can see test user 2 all right so i hope you got idea about this one okay now let's try the same thing for login so here i am going to do one easy thing i'll just copy whole code go to login paste that one in i'll write login and here i'll write register user in title okay okay so we need to write the code for login so let's go to views.py now here we will again check for the post request so i'll just copy this line 
instead of this user registration form i will say login form and if form dot is underscore valid then user name oops name is going to be username only so i'll say but we need to that we need to bring that data right so i'll say forms okay form dot clean underscore data dot get and you need to write username in parenthesis same thing goes for password so i'll just copy and paste that line by pressing ctrl d say password and i'll just copy this password variable and paste that over here okay once this is done i will say user equals to authenticate request comma username equals to username and password equals to password okay now if user is not none then login and here i'll pass request and user variable and i will just return that user to home page so i'll say return redirect to home now in else condition we can pass form dot add underscore error and here i'll say none and the message is going to be invalid username or password okay so i'll say form start form dot add okay we don't have su for success that is what i was checking now now we need to write one more else condition under this if okay so i'll say else and the form is going to be same but we need to remove this request dot post just save this copy this one from the register view same paste that same thing over here save it your server wait for the server reload go to the browser write login sorry login underscore user and you can see our login form also has the bootstrap 3 css okay so i if i click on submit i should be redirected to home page all right now let's write view for the logout so i'll say def logout underscore view request request and here i'll say logout request and here i'll say written redirect to login underscore user okay let me cross verify okay we have login over here to send we need to write login over here okay. all right so let's create url for logout user so i'll say path 
I'll say logout slash view dot log out view and the name is going to be logout okay so let's go to home.html so here I need to write the code for logout so if the user is authenticated then only we will show this logout button all right so I'll say if sorry we need to write if in a different way in templates so I'll say if user dot is underscore authenticated then show this login form okay I mean login log out button so I'll say a with link and here I'll say URL logout and here I'll write logout save come over here refresh let me cross verify authenticated I'll copy the spelling is that one over here okay I misspelled this authenticated spelling all right refresh now you can see we got this logout button let me design that button too I'll say role equals to button and I can also pass class equals to btn btn hyphen danger refresh and I'll also wrap this in container so I'll say dev I'll say class equals to container paste that code come over here refresh and if I click on logout I'll redirect it to login if I click on log if I click on submit button after writing all credentials I need, I'm redirected to home page if I click on logout and now if I go to home oops okay I don't need to write home in order to go to home page so yeah so you can see we are not authenticated that's uh, that is why we are not able to see that log out button okay so how I hope you got idea about crispy forms with uh, bootstrap 3 all right and uh, one more thing if you take some efforts to add this navigation bar in this project please go ahead in my github repository i will just link that one in the description box go ahead fork this repository add this add a bootstrap uh, navigation bar and the link of this home registration login logout and all those things just improve this project and make a pull request i will review your code and merge it in this project and this will be helpful for for the developers who are going to take this project in use okay so you are basically helping open source project community so please go ahead fork this one make this project improved and yeah this is it for today's video guys if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next one thank you